What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Zeely, Big Bang Zang, Joseph, Spidey Parker. Let's talk about the weigh-in. I know it was a while away, but let's do it anyway. Bars. Um... Parker, 245, he came in like he came in before against Wilder, and that weight suits him. So I'm good with that. Uh, Parker was able to outbox Deontay Wilder, avoid the right hand, smother the right hand, get close enough to throw his own punches and combinations successfully without being harmed, okay? And most importantly, you didn't see a drop in endurance and stamina from Joseph Parker. So 245 is good for him. Now, Zilly Big Bang Zang. Zilly Zang came in at 291 pounds, okay? And looking at Zilly Big Bang Zang and his last fight against jo uh, Joyce, okay, um, I got to look to see... Okay, let's see. Zang, Zili Zang. Okay, weigh in. Okay, um, Zili Zang was 287.2. Okay, so 287.2 to 291. Okay, what does that really mean? Well, uh, he's a lot older and he's heavier. So that could be good and bad. Well, good because he may punch a little harder. The punches may be a little heavier, just a bit. Okay, so we have about four pounds um, more in weight. And I think they're definitely going for power. Okay, they're going for a knockout. They're not going to outbox Parker. That would kind of be foolish, I feel, for Joseph Parker, uh, for Joe, for, for Zili Zhang and his team to do so. They need to come, bring the pain, bring the fire, bring exactly what they needed to. And this is, I, I feel, a gamble. I think, if anything, Zhang already has the punching power. He's recognized to have the punch that stopped the guy that supposedly couldn't be stopped. Okay, so he already had that reputation. And I think they wanted to up the ante a bit. I think they wanted to be more on power, okay? And since Zhang is older, the power is the last thing to go, okay? Ask George Foreman and others about the power factor, okay? So I think that they're coming in to knock him out. However, I do feel the 291, if it doesn't and if they can't, Knock him out in six rounds is going to go totally against Zili Zhang. Because what's going to happen if he hasn't done it in six rounds, what makes you think he's going to do it in the next six rounds? Because especially if Joe uh, Joseph Parker is able to have some success in the first six rounds, that's just like anything else. That's just like any uh, other fight. The equation is do what you can do when you can do it. And I think if Zili Zhang hasn't done it by six rounds, that weight is going to betray him. So understand, that's about damn near. That's nine pounds from 300 pounds. Now, don't get me wrong. Zili Zhang is a big guy. But what I saw on the scales, I didn't see someone that was actually on a diet. Shit. <laughs> actually on a diet. I seen, you know, I seen a belly. I seen that belly like kind of like jelly. It's kind of wiggly. And I think, and I may be wrong, okay? But I think Zili Zhang and his team, I think they got too carried away with the Joe Joyce wins, okay? I think they should have came in smaller. I think they should have came in more in shape. And, and I think the lighter you are, the better you are against someone you know that's already going to move. Okay, let me give you an example. Tyson Fury and Usyk. Tyson, look how small he is. Tyson ain't that big fat tub of lard like we're used to with the magic back fat. He probably still has that. You know, that's how he's built. But you see, he's definitely slimmed down. And he's done that because he knows he's up against a mover. That makes only, that only makes sense. Common sense. Okay, whereas Zhang, I think what happened since whoever his strengthening conditioning coach is. They're always focusing on power, power, power. And one thing we learned about Wilder is 
If you can't knock them out, then what do you have for backup? Nothing. You know what I mean? Well, I guess we'll see with Zili Zhang, but I think Parker will come in the way he's supposed to. I think Parker, you know, is looking like the guy that's in uh, better shape. Definitely. You know, you can tell. You know, Zili Zhang, yeah, it ain't like he's been sitting around eating noodles and Oreos and Jello and pies and cakes, but I think he did have a few cheat days, okay, that they got comfortable with him doing because of what he's already done. I think he, he should have came in a lot smaller. You know, 287, I think he should have came in at maybe 282, 280. You know what I mean? I mean, a solid 280. You know, but you also have to put into the equation that, you know, you can't necessarily come in. You have to be loose, okay? You have to be able to move. So hopefully Zane can move the way he can, but I think this is a career high, you know, uh, for Zili Zane. You know what I mean? And that's never really a good thing, especially if you've done something that you've never done before, okay? Because weight will betray you. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Zili Zhang, Joseph Parker, The Way In, 291 to 245. Of course, please subscribe. Bars. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.